Before I come to the subject of satellite imagery and the all-seeing eye in the sky, the one on the dollar and the New World Order watching us all, I'd like to tell you that I read all your comments of all you good people, in spite of the fact that YouTube won't let me answer the comments, nor have me receive personal messages because of that Google Plus thing. But my email address is in my channel for the ones who really want to get organized and team up. And if you want to use all the information I've given you all about the Swiss Nazi Templars, Octagon Pharaohs, the Pharistocracy, etc., and write a book about it, in a magazine or make a film, then it's okay with me. Just leave me the honor and announce that I gave, you, gave that to you. Maybe you can make a good buck by writing a book about this information or make money by putting my vids and info in the internet and earn good money through the business publicity going with that, as many already do. And I don't mind, because it's my gift to humanity and showing where the real base of evil really is. So one day you can do something about it, as no government ever will. As for myself, I've lost anyway. I'm 52 years old, and the Swiss Nazis will kill, kill me soon anyway. I would just like a better financial situation in peace and security for my kids. There's a trial coming up against the crimes against humanity by the Swiss state and the Swiss Nazi people in a European country, where I filed an official complaint at the European court and Swissy will kill me before, just as they did with uh, Roger Fankhauser in prison, short before his appeal case concerning that violent, violent corrupt cop Hans Rudolf Kuni of the Nazi center of Burgdorf. So whenever you'd make a good buck with my information, I would never claim any of it. I would shake your hand and say, well done because there are far greater issues at stake beyond the physical realm and the, the financial dream, or should we say financial nightmare. Just leave me the honor, that's all I ask. And in fact I already wrote that book, but not in English, and never found a publisher anyway. So you'll go and write that book in any language you like, because I just want a future in justice for humanity and my children. No God is going to do it for us, because God is not our servant, but we are His servants, if there is a thing called God at all. So you all go write that book and get rich, so at least the New World's Order won't get that money. I'm good with that, you hear? And make sure you repeat that Octagon Switzerland, one hell of a lot of times in there. Just as Lil Wayne and his Swiss connections are repeating a hundred times, Can you see now? Can you see now? Can you see now? In that new world order, dumbed down, brainwashed, no music. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. We've all been wondering how it's possible whenever our Muslim brothers committed a bloody attack against some New World Order agitators, as in the case of the Paris attacks, and more recent on some racist caricaturists, how quick the Octagon authorities and the media propagandists knew within hours who'd done it, their names, where they lived, where they were at, and closed the case for good with a 9 mil between the eyes and witnessed up the case, if you know what I mean. Of course, there never were any miraculous IDs found, crime investigators creating the obvious trail themselves. This octagon lie was told to hide the real technique they use in order to not keep new perpetrators off any possible new actions for the obvious political factors of establishing the entire New World Order. Octagon police state consolidate in increase through every new so-called so terrorist attack. Because if the perpetrators would really know how hopeless the getaway part of the operation actually is in reality, 
nobody would ever dare any more terrorist attack. And this is what the authorities and enemy within wants to avoid at all cost for the obvious reason of setting up their total control reign of evil through the political afterplay. So how do they do it then? Since ancient times on the church, in religious books and maybe in the Bible, I don't know. On the dollar at Omaha Beach in Normandy, as I filmed it for you. Everywhere there has been talk of the all-seeing eye up there and related to the reign of evil and total control. And now the moment has come that this revelation, threat and dream of evil of an all-seeing eye in the, in the sky by drones and satellites... Controlling humanity has finally come true with no less than 8,000 satellites constantly buzzing over our heads and filming every square inch of the earth day and night, flying lower than that notorious U-2 spy plane and with far more enhanced tele-objectives with thermal imagery, infrared imagery technology attached to it. Um, attached to huge NSA computer programs for computer run-throughs as incredible enhancement and myriads of other programs making a civil satellite see objects of 45 centimeters on earth and military NSA satellites recognize objects of the size of a, of a one dollar coin lying in the street during night time therefore the NSA often called the National Satellite Agency working closely together with NASA, therefore almost having the same name, NSA, NASA. And, um, you can even see their taillights flying over in the night. So here is the official logo of the NROC, the National Reconnaissance Office Center. <laughs> and before at the beginning of this uh, video I showed you the information awareness office so this is official and they use this old symbol of the pyramid you can see that the all-seeing eye and the satellite of the NROC they are on the um, on this official um, authority logo with which they control humanity so this revelation has come true. It's all related with the Masons and of course Octogon from the Alps ruling over us. So here you can see the Enroll, also National Reconnaissance Office. And you can see the Octopus or Octogon having the Earth and humanity in a tight Octogon grip. Symbols don't lie, folks, and this is now. So before any of you brave Muslim warriors do another attack on the New World Order, just know you'll have very little time to pray to Allah afterwards, because Octogon will just rewind the images from the all-seeing eye in the sky, from, from the point of clash, and rewind the data to see where you came from, where you live, who you are, while another team looks at where you're going to and where you are, and then send in the drones for a closer look. Of course, there are no more tapes to rewind, but just a memory bank related to a spe specific set of computer programs of the Octagon that will follow the tango all by itself. This is the Star Wars program or SDI Strategic Defense Initiative already announced by US President Ronald Reagan in the 80s and not against other militaries but against all us humans of this earth. So here you can see the satellite with the three dots for Isis, Horus and Seth of course. They always got the occult in there. 
So here we can see the strategic, the, uh, the SDI or Strategic Defense Initiative by Ronald Reagan in 19 March 23, 1983 with the, uh, the logo again. And because of this, we have now the NROC, the National Reconnaissance Office Center and the Information Awareness Office and all the drones and uh, well, there's no getaway anymore. It's not possible. So, and it's not, you know, not really for a ballistic missile defense or something, you know, it's against humanity. It's the all seeing eye in the sky and it has become, it has come true now. Then, when they had it all set in place, the, uh, the satellite surveillance of humanity, that Bush fella in the 19s uh, got the green light from their base Octagon in the Alps to announce the accomplishment of the New World Order. And he did it on 9-11-1990. So that was September the 11th, 1990. They had it all set in place, so he said, well, now we got the New World Order. Then the other Bush afterwards, an all-speaking Swiss German in their Yale Lodge, Skull and Bones Grove, announced the Patriot Act. All set in place by the all-seeing eye, watching every step we take and every step we have taken, kept in computer files for 100 years. So President George W. Bush, the son, also married a woman of the Alpine bloodline and, as many believe, reptilian. First Lady uh, Laura Bush, a descendant of the Swiss pharaonic nobility of uh, Christoph von Gravenried, who took the very first Swiss sleeper cell to North Carolina in 1705, and through the German Palatines, just as General Costas and Obama's Swiss ancestors passed through, a route many Swissies took on their way to conquer the US and all on all key, key positions now as it is the key, the case today and uh, in Switzerland I've seen many women doing this sort of a face here in Switzerland especially the ones in power like uh, authorities they sort of give the authority look this is the Swiss authority look I, I've seen I've seen this many times and I wondered long 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 before I saw this face here which, which is a Swissy face. I mean, this is von Grafenried. This is the typical look of the Swiss Sisters of Isis that gave the name to Switzerland. Suis Sœur d'Isis, Schwitz Schwester Isis, Switzerland. Swissyland, the typical look of the Sisters of Isis. I've seen this so many times here. So here you can read it. It's not only Bush himself who's... Uh, of Swiss descent, you know, but it's also uh, this lady here with whom he got married. Here it says, the paternal ancestor Christo Christopher de Grafenried, or von Grafenried actually, uh, which is German name of the of the arist uh, in Germany. The uh, the aristocracy they all have a von. Born in Bern, Switzerland, and. Uh, Nine, yeah. So th this is a very important ancestor, you know, who's setting all the other ones just aside. You know, this so predominant. Uh, this is the aristocracy, the pharaohocracy, the Swiss pharaohs. This is octagon. And here in Wikipedia, they're actually trying to hide it where she was, where she's really from. They say she is of English ancestry. <laughs> No, I well, know. And, uh, yeah, just as Bush, they just hide it where they really from. So, this is not English ancestry. Here you can read some more in the Swiss center of North America, the Swiss roots culture, uh, about von Graf, von, here it says, von Grafenried. And he led a group of Swiss and German religious refugees to North Carolina to found New New Bern. Well, here it started, eh? And uh, this is the ancestor of uh, Laura Bush. 
And that's why they speak Swiss German in the Skull and Bones uh, Lodge. There it all is. And here's an interesting book. Unfortunately, it stops. Uh, it's not on it. It's not published on the pages, which are really in, where it gets really interested. But here it's Bush, and it talks about the family ancestry of Bush in Switzerland by a Swiss, uh, well, a Swiss American called Delbert Richard. And um, it even shows the. Uh, the castle, which I filmed in the uh, in the Pharaoh show, so apparently Bush is even related to that very castle in the Pharaoh show, this Templar's castle. And here's some more about Laura Bush, her ancestor, Swiss ancestor, Christo Christoph von Grafenried, and um, so it's Swiss Swiss German from both sides, Bush and Laura Bush. And here they talk about the other castle. There was his castle in Vop. Uh, and well, I will tell you what happened there. And this is in the in the windows. The all sort of coat of arms and all sort of. You know, if, if I have a closer look at it, you know, I'll find more things. And here's a list of famous Americans of uh, German and Swiss German uh, descent. You probably find uh, a lot more in there, but uh, let's have a look at Mr. Bush. Where are you, W? Why, well, there he is. Swiss German. And here, well, I showed you this Swiss German. Yeah. And if you just punch in Laura Bush von Grafenried, here, yeah, von Grafenried, Laura Bush. There's a lot more coming out, you know, the uh, in Wikipedia, the uh, von Grafenried and the uh, the wife of George Bush, and here, Mrs. Laura Bush, the first lady of the United States, and uh, ancestry of Christopher the Graf Grafenried, and uh, it, it was even in the newspaper here, Laura Bush von Grafenried. It was in the Zurich newspaper, Verwandtschaft. That means. Um, Related to the Swiss nobility, there it says, First Lady Laura Bush von Grafenried. Well, it's all over. I filmed the von Grafenried name in the Templars Castle in my video, The Pharaoh Show. And here in 2010, the, the, the US Embassy in Bern officially went to visit the Christoph von Grafenried Castle in Vorp. As not only Laura Bush is related to that Swiss bloodline, but also Senator Charles Robb, who is also related to President Johnson, and so on and so on and so forth. You see, this is the Embassy of the United States in Bern, in Switzerland. Von Grafenried descendants visit Warp Castle. Linda Robb, daughter of former US President Lyndon B. Johnson. Well, they're all Swiss. Well, you can read it all yourself. So this is under Obama, uh, Linda Robb, and, and President this and President that. Yeah. Uh, all the ancestry from Switzerland. Uh, it's all one club. I went there once to that castle. You think that would do it for you? For your Irish ancestry, go to Ireland, and or your Italian ancestry? No, I don't think so, eh? I went once to that von Grafenried castle, an ans uh, ancestor of Laura Bush, and it's full of skull and bone, bone symbols. So now you understand why Swiss German is being spoken at the Yale Skull and Bones Lodge, and why Grandfather Prescott Bush dealt with the Nazis. <laughs> because they're all octogon Nazi Templars from the Alps in Switzerland who ruled the US, and Mr. Hitler, he was financed through Switzerland as well. It all comes together. Von Grafenried, Laura Bush, Bush, Bush himself, they speak Swiss German, Hitler financed by Gen Swiss General Ulrich Wille. It's all Swiss linked. They gave all the orders, they organized it. And here the other one, 
Barbara Bush, uh, the mother of W. I says early life, and she's related to Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States. <laughs> it's all one big Swiss family. Switzerland rules the U.S. with a sleeper cell of currently one million Swiss Americans in the U.S. See my other videos for that, like Swiss sleeper agents in the U.S. Here, one million people with Swiss, Swiss roots in the United States. They're on all key positions. So this is on Swiss Info. You all know I'm not religious and don't believe in any God. But damn, it's all coming true what has been written in the book of Revelations in the Bible 2000 years ago. The chip under the skin, on your forehead, head or hand, to pay with, the beast with seven heads and ten horns, or Octagon Switzerland with seven heads of state and ten ministries, the 666 I filmed for you at the Omaha Beach Satanic Ritual, U.S. Cemetery War Memorial, and the all-seeing eye in the sky. They can look back into time by rewinding the all-seeing eye satellite imagery tapes, as in that Denzel Washington film Deja Vu. Or here, in this case, where a 19-year-old Swiss, especially for the occasion, drove to Germany with his $300,000 Ferrari, parked it in an immigrant neighborhood to blame the foreigner for his assurance fraud, just as Swiss always does in Switzerland, traditionally trying to blame immigrants for all Swiss he made crimes. And then had two Albanian accomplices blow up his $300,000 Ferrari in the night with no witnesses at all and nobody seeing it. Except the all seeing eye in the night with thermo imagery just rewind rewinding the tapes back into, into the motherland in the Alps, all the way back to the front doors in Zurich, Switzerland, the home of all perfect crimes, invisible to all. And of course, young Swiss Ferrari boy will be protected, and the two Albanians receive the max load. As in Switzerland, the immigrant always takes it all for what Swissy in fact committed.